Okay, so about a week or two, I've been working on a build for Exalted Blade, and I'm still not a fan of Excalibur even though I am a huge fan of using melee weapons over anything else, but I decided to use his Chromatic Blade Augment, and I've actually come across a really good build that I've been working on, and I'm going to showcase it in this video today. So before I actually show the build, I want to show how much damage this actually has the potential to do. Now on screen, you'll see that I'm fighting level 110 enemies. This is only the training room, so they're not going to fight back, but being able to dish out this much damage almost upwards to 100,000 per swing, and it rips off enemy armor pretty easily, this augment can help Excalibur scale pretty well into endgame, especially when it hit upwards into the hundreds. Now for anybody who doesn't know what Chromatic Blade is, is an augment for his Exalted Blade that allows him to have different status effects depending on what color he has on his energy. And it also increases the status effect of his Exalted Blade by 50%. So with this, you can have different types of damage types going with also your slash and a lot of other procs. So instead of rambling on and on about the damage output that you can do and of other sorts of Exalted Blade and Chromatic Blade, I decided I'm just going to go and show the build. So this is my Excalibur build for the Chromatic Blade. I decided to go with a lot of power strength and a little bit of tankiness to keep myself alive in the end game. And I decided to add energy conversion. Now this mod, I never really thought that it would work but apparently it does work with Exalted Blade, so picking up an Energy Orbit and casting Exalted Blade will give you the 50% uh, power strength increase that you need to do more damage with this ability. And I also went with a Prime Flow and Streamline to keep up the ability for as long as possible while being able to pick up Energy Orbs at the same time. Now what makes this ability special, just like Mace's Peacemakers, is the fact that it is affected by the weapon that's given. So Excalibur's melee weapon is what affects Exalted Blade's damage the same way Mace's Peacemakers makers actually affect her weapon with pistol mods. Now I do have two different builds that have two different types of play styles. And for the first one, I decided to go with my Broken Ward. Now for this build, I decided to go with a lot of raw damage output and with a little bit of crit chance to boost the DPS even further and using Berserker with Prime Fury to get as much speed as possible. Now for my second build, I decided to go with the Galatine Prime. Now for the Galatine Prime, I decided to go with the same concept except I added Healing Return so I can use it as a healing build. Now since you will be proccing almost every hit, you will be healed for every time you actually land a hit on an enemy. So the fact that the Exalted Blade actually goes through enemies, you can actually heal a lot of health back. And it's a great alternative other than Life Strike if you don't want to waste any more energy since you are wasting a lot with Exalted Blade. Now these are my builds for this. There are a lot of different ways that you can mod Exalted Blade's Chromatic Blade, but this is just my variation. I don't have the fullest potential on my builds as you can tell by the fact that not all my mods are maxed out, but I'm pretty sure if I actually did max out my mods and my Excalibur's mods, I could get a maximum of a, over 100,000, which is pretty good. That can actually get you to pretty far endgame. As you can see in the gameplay, I am fighting level 110s like it's nothing, and it does do a pretty decent amount of damage. Now the only problem you might have when you're fighting a lot of enemies such as the ancient healers and stuff like that, they will buff a lot of the enemy types and they will make it harder to kill them. So if you're going to use this in like a long survival and you're fighting against the corrupted bombards and stuff like that, I would get rid of the ancient healers first since they will buff them to all hell and you want to be able to kill them as fast as possible. So. That's the build and this build is really amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you learned anything new in this video, don't forget to like, favor, and subscribe for more Warframe content and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.